My friend Sheenie and I have been really wanting to do another collab together, and we're finally getting around to it. This time we decided to do an original character swap with each other, so basically she designed a character for me, and I designed a character for her, and we definitely went off of like a prompt list of things we wanted from the characters. We both gave each other hairstyles, personality, gender, clothing, etc. Just stuff along those lines to kind of guide us in a certain direction. But from there, we had so much creative liberty and I felt like I even pushed the prompts that Sheeny gave me, especially when it came to like color scheme. I think I really fit it. I think I'm just being too hard on myself, but uh, it was really fun to do this because I really personally don't focus a lot on character design. I really like drawing fan art and I've been really on a fan, fan art binge lately and I haven't really been designing any kind of characters or playing with anything along those lines. So it was really fun to do this for myself because I have a lot of ideas that I don't necessarily focus on a lot, but it was really fun to just kind of sit down and play with designing a character and different color schemes and stuff I wanted to work with. I definitely didn't go with my first idea I had, but in the same sense that I didn't go with it, I modified that character design to fit kind of what Sheeny was asking for me. So initially, I don't have my first couple of sketches on this sketchbook spread, but my very first concept that I went with was a forest spirit girl, basically. And I really liked that idea, but I felt like it was not at all in the color schemes that I was asked to do, which would have been fine, but I kind of wanted to to try and fit in that at the very least. So I took the same rough idea. I take took the same design and I just kind of transferred that over into a volcano or a magma spirit and that's what I ended up doing for this character. So initially where I had like a flower crown in her hair and I had flowers tying her like ponytail, loose pony- I, I don't know what you'd call that hairstyle, but where I had like hair ties in her hair, I had flowers initially, I translated that over into fire, which I really liked the final look of this character. It was definitely not the direction that I was anticipating from the get-go, but like I really like her really dark gray skin and then her light hair and her light clothes. And while I feel like I didn't necessarily bounce back a whole lot of ideas with this character, I pretty much went off of like my second idea or my second translation of this character and carried that over into the final design. I did try to play a little bit with color schemes while keeping it dark because the one thing color scheme wise that Sheeny asked for me was either muted colors of my favorite color palette or an overall dark color palette with a couple of pop colors which like I said I think I'm being too hard on myself in saying that that doesn't match it because it it really is a really dark color palette minus the hair. I think the hair and the clothes is what gets me but otherwise I'm really happy with this color palette and this character as a whole. She's very cute. I definitely knew right off the bat that I wanted to do a girl because Sheeny draws a lot of male characters and I feel like she has more male characters than female characters and I really like drawing girls so I was like oh heck yeah I'm gonna draw a girl because while I could have used this as an excuse to draw a male character, why would I do that when I could draw a cute girl? <laughs> So my basis for this character was kind of going off the idea, Sheeny told me she wanted a happy, bubbly personality character, and that's what I kind of went off of. So I figure like she's a magma or a volcano spirit, and she's very lonely, but she really likes the concept of forest spirits, which is what I had initially, and so she made herself like a little quote unquote flower crown in her hair, which is all like the fire, lava, whatever you want to call it going on. and then. I also came up with a little idea that she doesn't have friends, so she makes these little like lava fire spirits, which I have a doodle of one of the little guys on the spread on the left side of the page, and I just thought that was super cute, and I kind of played off the idea that when she's sad or experiencing negative moods, instead of glowing red fire, it turns blue, because I just thought that would be very cute, a very nice way to portray emotions in the character as far as color schemes go, because warmer colors tend to be happier versus cooler colors tend to be sad. So I thought that was really fun, especially with fire where you can have blue fire, red fire. I thought that was really cute for the character. So then I went on to my final piece. It took me a while to kind of play around with the pose, but I really wanted to use my markers. I've been dying to use my alcohol markers, my Copic markers lately, and I just like, I just have not been making that much art. And especially with marker pieces, I feel inclined to do a full finished piece because I know that's what'll look best. I know that's the best use of the ink, I guess. I'm still in that mindset of I feel weird using my Copic markers because they're expensive, but it was really fun to bring out my markers for this piece. Definitely not the best color scheme to get back into, especially since like 
I don't know how to draw fire. I've never really known a good way to portray fire in drawings, but I felt like I did a really good job in my opinion with this. I really liked the way that it ended up turning out and it was a lot of fun to do the shading where I wasn't necessarily focusing on doing a regular lighter skin tone, which is what I normally draw, or even a darker skin tone and worrying about blushes. It was very monochromatic in terms of the skin tone, which was really fun because I got to play around with like doing a darker color for blushy tones, which is what I initially envisioned where it's like her fingertips are darker, her elbows, shoulders, nose, cheeks, stuff like that is darker, which I really, really liked how that turned out. I'm actually like really proud of myself for making this character. I think she's super cute. And the name that I ended up coming up for her, which I didn't really come up for, I researched. I researched volcanoes and I decided to give her the name after Mount Araya. I think I'm saying that right, but it is a volcano in the Philippines, so her name is Araya because I just thought it would be cute for her to be named after a volcano. That's the name I'm giving her. If Sheenie wants to change the name, she's more than welcome to change the name because I'm I'm very, very bad at naming a characters. If and when I do design a character where it's a character that I draw over like multiple occasions, it takes me an extremely long time to actually give them a name, so. That was the very last thing I ended up doing with this character. I actually ended up deciding on a name like 10 minutes before recording this voiceover because I totally forgot to give her a name and I had to think of that last minute. But as far as like personality for this character goes, I don't want to go too in depth because I want Sheenie to kind of leave her own mark on this character instead of having her already set up, but I really like the kind of concept and story that I gave her initially and I, I had a lot of fun designing this character. I honestly think the hardest part over the entire designing process, for me at the very least, was coming up with clothing for the character. I always struggle, even when it's like just random outfits, I always struggle drawing outfits. I don't know why, but like my personal fashion taste is like either like t-shirt and jeans or like comfy sweatpants or something along those lines. I don't, I'm not like super interested in personally wearing anything that's like not even fancy, but I just don't, I have a very like calm and comfy fashion taste for myself personally because I like to wear comfy clothes. So I always have the hardest time drawing characters and clothes and if I have anything in mind I like need to look up references for or just go on Pinterest in general for outfit references because Clothing is just very difficult for me to come up with. So I went very, very simple with this character. I also gave her like a fiery shawl thing going on, but as far as like top and bottom goes, I just gave her like summery clothes. So it looks like she's wearing like a crop top or a bralette or something, which I thought was really cute. And then I gave her shorts and I also gave her one stocking. So there's something else going on her leg. I was also very sad because in this particular image itself, I didn't have enough space to draw her feet, so they're off the page, but I had sketched this pose initially, because originally I was going to do it in my sketchbook, but then I transferred it over onto Lucia paper, and I was so proud of the foot I drew, because I don't draw feet like, I don't draw feet ever, so I was very bummed when I sketched it out on marker paper and the foot didn't fit, because I was like, dang it, I wanted to redraw the foot, but it's okay. I was just proud of myself for drawing a really good foot. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please check out Sheenie's links in the description below and also watch her part of the collab. The character she designed, I've already seen, he's beautiful. They're beautiful. Should I say he? I, I guess that kind of gives it away a little bit. But check out Sheenie's links in the description below. Uh, give her a subscription, follow her on Instagram and other social media. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.